What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful little wife over here are bringing you guys great information, tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, entice, and hopefully enhance and improve your relationship to a whole new healthy and positive level. And through this, we have all our great tips and information that we've gathered through the great years of our 14 years of being together. Wow. And all our 14? friends. Is it 14? Uh-oh. Is it 14? How yeah, many it's 14. Years? 14? Yeah. Or 15? 14. 15. I think it's going on 15. 15. You made me fix the picture. Okay. <laughs> 15 years. Wow. Of my We're even. Corrected. Yes. Yes. We're even. <laughs> even. <laughs> So not only are you guys getting our valuable information through the 15 years, mm -hmm. but we're also giving you guys good information we might have picked up along the way from other people or other couples or things that we've seen. So with no further ado, we want to get into tonight's tips and tricks for you guys, or today's I should say. And last week we showed you date night with miniature golfing. This again will be another date night situation scenario. It's definitely awesome. Because we want to show you a little bit of one end of the spectrum to another end of the spectrum. Right, right? something like mild to wild. Right, so miniature golfing, it's kind of quiet out there. You guys are talking, maybe having some cocktails, that's cool. You guys are getting to interact like that, right? Getting to talk and bond like that and, you know, have a little competitiveness while you're playing miniature golf. Really cool. You guys can have some food, chill. But on this other end of the spectrum, what else does make you happy? And there's a couple different things that, you know, stir up emotion. One is music, mm -hmm. right? Everybody is Sometimes driven by music. When you watch movies... Those are driven by music, too. Some of the parts you watch, you know, they're not even saying anything, and it's probably would be a dull shot without the music or be hot without the sound that's behind it, right? right? So when you're working out, it gives you different energy, maybe motivation. It can make you emotional. When you maybe listen to your, your favorite breakup song in the car, you females, and you guys are crying, or, or you guys. Or biscuit on the way. Ah! You're, you yeah. get in the mood, you're like, I'm going to kill it. <laughs> you know? So music drives it, right? And then, obviously, the other thing would be, would be dancing. Now, there are people out there that don't like to dance or think that they can't dance. Right. Well, dancing is just an expression of yourself moving to the music that you hear or the rhythm. And you might not have rhythm, but that's okay. You can learn a couple different steps where you can go out and enjoy yourself and not look dumb on the dance floor. <laughs> you don't have to do a whole bunch of different things to look cool out there on the dance floor. I don't need to break dance out there with a hat, you know, yeah. spin around in yeah. circles. And even the girls, right? You don't have to break it down and twerk to get on the dance floor. I mean, right? it's nice if you can, though. I guess for the guy, maybe. <laughs> in certain situations, scenarios, right? But, you know, I mean, there are different forms of dancing, too. So when you start getting serious, you do some professional dancing. Salsa. You yeah, can do all kinds of dancing. Yeah, the waltz. I mean, all these different. So yeah. it's not that, right? Yeah. So what we did was, was this last Friday, we had a Titan event along with Dom Dalla, who is a big EDM DJ. So yeah. it's a big house DJ. And they had it here in Tampa, Florida. Big shout out to Pipe Piper Productions, Mike Piper, Corey Rina, and the whole crew that put it on. It was amazing. We were worried about rain the whole night. Oh, Hopefully God. it didn't rain because it was an outside event. Yeah, we got and lucky. Florida, it was, it was supposed to rain that whole week. And it's supposed to mess. rain all day long that day. Mess. Luckily it didn't, thank God. And we got to go out there, so we got the experience. And so me and Teresa, we go out to our events. Obviously we make sure you know everything's going good at the, the tent or with the girls that are working in the event. Say hi to them, see what's going interaction-wise. But then we moved to the dance floor, our table. So at that point, we were up there. We were dancing, having a good time. We had some other friends up there. It was a good all-in-all -all experience. One, you get to listen to music and just chill out, right? Because even if you're talking, you're not, like, getting heard of everything you're saying. So you're not having, like, full-blown big conversations out there. And if you are, it's kind of hard to hear. So it's good, too, right? Because you're interacting emotionally, physically, right? So you might be touching each other, hanging, listening to music, swaying back and forth. You might be dancing. you having a cocktail, <laughs> right? Uh, whatever it may be. So there's just different things that you can do to have fun. And, um, you know, with going and dancing. One, you're getting some exercise or activity. Cardio. Right? I mean, that was, that was my cardio for the whole week. It's awesome. Yeah. Right? You might calories. Feel like, yeah. Burning calories. You're burning calories. So, you know, that's, that's a benefit, right? Because, you know, any activity you do is going to be good for you. You're moving, you're grinding, you're having moving a good time. Grooving. Moving and grooving. Moving and grooving, right? Uh, you know, you might feel like a sweaty mess afterwards. Or in the oh, night, my God. But that's okay. That's where you go Thank home, God take a good shower. Thank God he still loves me for me. I mean, because I was, I mean, I was real sweaty. I think it was sweaty, too. It was, you know, it just, yeah. when you're out, it was Florida, and because it, it didn't rain, the humidity was crazy. Yeah. 
So we had to be out there. And it was obviously, it was, it was, it was pretty humid out there. Yeah, so ponytail city. It was, it was good, though. I mean, you've seen the crowd there, which was really cool. And you can see on the videos. It was a huge crowd there. I think it was like 3,000 people there, which was really, really amazing. And then Dom Dollar, it was just really good music. So you don't have to like Dom Dollar, but you could like other music. You could go to like maybe a, a country concert or a rock concert or whatever it is that you like. <laughs> R&B, you Not know, country. all these different things. I mean. And some concerts can get expensive, right? Let's, let's talk about that too. Well, like I mean, Taylor Swift and all that. But the whole big part on this, okay? So, tell me. you know, when we revert back to the Cupid's Corner portion of this, the couples portion, okay? Yeah. When you're up in this different setting, because putt putt golf or whatever it is, it's me and him. Yeah. Me, him, some clubs, that's it. There's nothing else going on. We talk to each other. Now, something you guys might need to master with each other, because it's a very important. And I think it does take time to do. I mean, me and John do it now without even thinking about it, but it is something we've worked on over the years, right? So when you're surrounded in a group of people and you're still kind of together and you still want to hang out together, but you are still with other people where you're conversating with other people, maybe you, you, he's talking to one person, I'm talking to another person, but at some point when you meet back here to you know dance to a cool song that just came on. <laughs> So it's like, it's, it, there's a happy balance in there. And sometimes, you know, you can lose track of, you know, the day, the whole night and you're talking to all these people, everyone but your significant other, yeah. right? You remember back in the day, yeah. like way, way, way yeah. back in the day. And I'd be like, yeah, I was there. Like, and you know, you didn't talk to me like the whole night. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, I was with you the whole time. And yeah, we were together, but you were talking to, Tom, you know, Dick and Harry, not Sharice. So anyways, I feel like that's something jealous. that <laughs> I, oh, I am green eyed jealous. <laughs> I will not, I will not say that I'm not because I am. <laughs> um, but you know, that's a little tip for you girls out there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you got to learn to master that balance because if you do forget to, you know, Hey, listen, I'm still with somebody out here. Let me pay attention to them too you have to sometimes think about it because you might get caught up in a conversation with somebody and you know, you're talking and then you, you know, that you're not together the whole night, but you are. So I feel like I wanted to bring that up at least. That's good. It's, a, it's important to That's kind important. of be able to be able to like, you know, recognize that you're out there with your significant other and you're there to share time, good time with other people maybe, but also with each other. The priority should be the date. Of course. A hundred percent. Of course. It should be definitely be your partner, whoever you're taking on the date should be focusing on them. Even if you're talking a little bit, you know, have the conversation, but think to yourself, all right, listen, what up. is she doing or what yeah. are they doing? Um, I want to make sure, you know, they're comfortable, are they're having, having fun. fun. Yeah. That's the big one, right? Because, <laughs> you know, you want them to have fun. You want them to have a good experience because it's a bad experience. They're not going to want to do it ever again. Yeah. Like, you know what? Like last time, you, know, you just left me in the corner and I was there by myself and I, I felt like I was there. You were right over there, but you didn't pay no attention to me. Yeah, so you just hung out with friends all night. That's not good. And that's yeah. going to turn it into a negative thing and a yeah, negative experience. And you definitely don't want yeah. that. Yeah. I feel like I want to bring that up because... That is something that I feel that so there's couples that need to recognize that. I agree. Work on it and just get better at it. I and agree. that is something that when me and John first met, it was an issue. Right. Like, and that's why I'm bringing it up because we've been able to master it. Yeah. And it took time. You know, things don't happen overnight either. You guys got to be patient with each other. Communicate with each other. Because if you don't communicate, how are they supposed to know how you're feeling? Well, it's also a mutual respect thing too. Exactly. So. Um, you know, so in, in, when you're out, guys and girls, make sure you understand not everybody that comes up to you, you need to talk to, too, as well, <laughs> right? Because people will come up and try to start conversations with you, whether they're trying to hit on you, whatever it is. That'd be bad business. And that's not no good either, right? Yeah. That's like, that's totally what you're not there for. Mm -hmm. You're totally there to have a great experience with the partner or the person you came with. Mm -hmm. That's what it should be about. Making memories with them, having a conversation with them. You guys dancing have that, with them. That bonding experience, dancing together and having a great time. Yeah. So you guys can have more future great times together. And this will build on that, I, I promise you. So, you know, as far as that goes, just make sure, like she said, keep your date priority, whoever it is. Yeah. Make sure you're looking back at them, even if you are, like, talking to this person. <laughs> like, you know, like, hey, I'll be there. He's learned. He's learned. I know what to do, right? You, I know what to you do. might not even be talking, communicating, but you're talking. Right? Yeah. One way yeah. or the other, you're communicating. Yeah, it's like eye right? contact. And you'll, you'll get these things over time, too, as you're with somebody for long extended periods of time. You'll start learning there's tells, there's signs, and you won't even have to say anything. Right. Like, you might even be able to tell, like, oh, they might be mad about something right yeah, now. Or like, they don't they're not happy about something or yeah. whatever, you know. 
But it's cool we've gotten to a point where, you know, like, John will look over and he gives me, like, a little smile and I'm like, you know, it's so cute. And then we eventually, you know, obviously end up back together. But, yeah. I mean, people obviously, I mean, who doesn't want to come talk to John? Everybody wants to come talk yeah, to right. John. Everyone wants to talk to her. Everybody, yeah, but I'm not, I, I'm not as approachable as you. She's just too pretty. <laughs> so it is. She gets out of everything. I get out of everything. Because yeah, she's, she's too pretty. She's that's jinxing why. me. I'm not jinxing her about anything. <laughs> God made this one too pretty. That's the problem. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, listen, pick your date nights wherever you guys want to, but experience some different things and experience things that will bring you guys together. And this will bring you guys together. Hopefully yeah. you guys are, you know, you guys can dance together, you guys can conversate together, you guys can listen to good music together, and that's awesome. Like, it's just a good, that's another good way to have just good a whole, clean, yeah. fun time. Good, right? wholehearted fun. And listen, don't incorporate drugs, alcohol, or anything like that. Yeah. You don't need to do you that. I know couples out there that will do that. One that might go out at a concert, so they get they get hammered, right? And that might not be a good experience for both of you guys. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you know different people where they can't control their alcohol, and they do stupid stuff, right? Like I've seen girls go out, get hammered, and whether they pull a top off or do something just out of character that yeah. they normally wouldn't do. Oh boy. I've seen things like that. And yeah. guys side the exact same thing. And then they wake things. up the next day and they're like, I have no idea what happened last night. So, so the date was just really just deleted. You know, so at that point, like, I'm not saying you can't have a cocktail or two, but don't get sloshed, right? Don't yeah. take a whole bunch of shots. Don't you know, get sloshed. Enjoy it. Enhance the mood. Enhance the time so you guys can enjoy later on that night you guys aren't fighting. And then the next day, remembering what, what happened. Like, that was a great right? night, right? You're like, what? For the great memories. We went out. <laughs> So we hope this helps you guys and hope you guys will go out and enjoy a concert or some sort of music and enjoy each other's time. That's it for Cupid's Corner this week, 11 a.m. ABC every Sunday. Me and this beautiful little woman over here will be coming at you with guys with great tips, tricks, and information to help you guys. If you guys don't watch it live, don't worry. You guys can DVR it or go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, get to watch this Cupid's Corner and all the other episodes and all the cool content we have. So with no further ado, we are out, and we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.